And that's kind of the fun thing about dyeing your own hair. Sometimes you just never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a little bit of an extra video this week for you because I really need to get my hair done. So I thought I would make a video on how I dye my hair blue. So if anyone else wants to know how to do it at home, then you can follow how I do it and hopefully your hair won't fall out. <laughs> but before we get into kind of the bleaching process and all of that, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an upload. So straight off the bat, this is kind of the beforehand. And as you can see, it's kind of fading. It's got like weird, like yellowy bits towards the end because I've been trying to kind of wash the color out because I know I'm gonna bleach it all. And then you've got loads of all my kind of dark roots there that needs bleaching up. And it's probably been a good three months since I've bleached it. Yeah, I would say it's been about three months since I last bleached it. And it's in all right condition. Towards the end, it's a little bit crunchy, but other than that, it's okay. And today as well, I'm gonna be aiming for a pastel blue hair color because last time I tried to get pastel blue hair and it ended up neon blue. And that's kind of the fun thing about dyeing your own hair. Sometimes you just never know what you're gonna get. But let's jump straight into it and I'll show you how I bleach my hair first. Right, so for the first step, we're gonna mix our bleach up and it kind of depends on your hair type. Just keep in mind that I'm not a hairdresser. There was a period at one point where I used to kind of highlight my own hair. I used a 40 volume, 12% bleach. And that stuff destroys your hair, absolutely wrecks it. And I ended up with like a little chunk at the bottom where it kind of snapped off. So I wouldn't recommend going for a 12%, I wouldn't use it for anything. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use a 9%, a 30 volume developer, which I think this stuff is the like bleaching stuff. And I'm going to mix that with this stuff, which is, I don't know, it kind of makes it go blonde, I assume. I did buy a powder by accident, I would recommend going for a cream because it's more gentle on your hair. Whereas the powder can be a bit rough. And we're just going to mix it one to one. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my clothes as well because I don't want to get bleach on this t-shirt. Ah, much better. And the thing is, when I'm mixing this stuff, I just kind of eyeball it until it kind of feels right. Yeah, and I was thinking about using a colour stripper to kind of get the rest of the blue out of my hair. But apparently the stripping kind of kits you can get really, really f*** up your hair. So I didn't really want to do that because I damaged it enough with bleach as it is. Okay, so I think that's about right. And what I'm gonna do is basically just cover my entire head with this bleach mixture stuff. And just make sure to cover every single bit as well. It's very easy to miss parts of your head. And this is the bit where I usually miss parts of the back of my head because obviously I can't see what I'm doing. It just gives it that authentic, you've done your hair at home kind of vibe. Right. I'm just going to tidy up some of the kind of edges and just get rid of some of the bleach that's on my skin. And also what I like to do is kind of fashion a foil helmet, just out of regular tin foil. And some people use a plastic bag for this. And then that way it keeps in all the heat so it helps the bleach kind of develop. And it also protects your thoughts from any kind of aliens that are out there. But what we're going to do is we're going to leave this on for about 45 50 minutes and there's a myth where people think that leaving kind of bleach on for a long period of time Helps it get to kind of the white that we're looking for and it doesn't it only has a certain kind of development point So if you leave it on any longer than what it has to be on for you just increase in the damage on your hair So just leave it on for about 45 minutes 50 minutes however long it tells you to and then wash it straight out and then hope well You'll probably be left with quite orange hair, but I'll show you that once this is done. Okay, I'm back. I've just kind of washed it all out and I'm just kind of showing you what it looks like. Just so you kind of, if you do it yourself, you're not kind of shocked or like terrified or anything because yeah, you've got kind of this greeny blue on the ends and then your roots are really orange. I actually managed to burn my scalp a bit as well, which happens from time to time if you're bleaching your own hair. That's why you should probably have got the hairdressers. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tone it up for about a week. Loads of toner, loads of conditioner, and try and get the brassiness out as much as possible. And try and get it into a little bit of a better condition. And then after a week, we're going to go for a second round of bleaching. And that'll hopefully just kind of tidy everything up to the point where we can dye it. I'm hoping to get a pastel colour. 
If everything fails, I'll just dye it my normal blue hair and just call it a day. It depends how much my hair can take, because if you've got really weak or fine hair, you're going to kind of struggle doing this stuff, but I've got quite thick and strong hair, so it gives us the opportunity to f*** it up. I'll meet you back here when we're going to do a second lot of bleaching because it's slightly different from the last lot we did. It's a little bit more gentle on your hair. So, there's bits of my hair floating around. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Right, I'm back and it's only been about three days since I last bleached my hair. I would normally wait a week to do another round of bleaching, but I'm really impatient. And as you can see, kind of the tone has taken effect and it's gone kind of purple, but I still have quite an orange root. But it's not as bad as what it was before, the green's kind of gone. But my hair's in pretty decent condition because I have like conditioned the shit out of it. And basically for this next step, we're going to do exactly the same as what I did beforehand. The only difference is this time we're going to switch out the peroxide we used before, which was a 9% 30 volume, and we're going to use a 20 volume 6%. So this stuff here. It just means that it's going to be a little bit more gentle on your hair. And to be fair, I'm thinking I could probably get away with doing another round like I did before, but... I really don't want my hair to fall out, so I think I will just stick to the 20 and hope that it just kind of evens all this up. But the thing is, if I was kind of doing it properly, I would just do the roots because the ends are fine the way they are. If you have short hair, it's so hard to kind of do your roots yourself. But I'll do all that off camera, bleach it again off camera because it's literally the same thing I've just done. And then I'll show you what that looks like and then we can finally get into the decent part which is dyeing it. And hopefully everything will go okay. Right, okay, so this is kind of the finished product after a second lot of bleaching and toning as well. And obviously you can see that the ends are quite purple and the roots are still a little bit kind of yellowy. But I'm hoping when we put all this kind of blue hair dye on and stuff, it'll just kind of blend it all together. But I do have a feeling that my roots and the ends of my hair are going to be two different colours, but that's fine. It just adds a little bit of dimension. I'm still going to try and go for a pastel look, but I don't think I might be able to get it. I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's white enough. And I don't want to do another lot of bleaching because my hair's quite crunchy. It's not too bad. It would probably survive, but it would be hanging on by a thread, and I don't really fancy that. Right, so I'll mix up our blue hair dye. And because I'm going to try and go for a pastel blue, I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny bit of this blue hair colour, which is by La Riche Directions. I've used it plenty of times before. It's quite nice in the denim blue. Probably is about that much. And the thing is, you can always kind of keep dyeing and dyeing and redoing it because it hasn't got any kind of bleaches or anything like that in the dye, so it doesn't damage your hair like the bleaching does. And then all I'm going to do is mix it with a ton of conditioner. And that's just normal conditioner, it's nothing fancy. Right, I think that's kind of good enough. And again, if it doesn't kind of take to my hair very well, what I'll do is I'll just mix up another batch and just add a bit more colour to it. So it's not kind of the end of the world or anything. Just like the bleaching, we're just going to cover our entire head in this hair dye. Right, so once your hair's fully covered, we're just going to leave that on for about half an hour to an hour. Really let it kind of soak in. And then we're going to rinse it out and hopefully I'll have pastel blue hair which I'll show you now. Yes, you're probably thinking, what happened to the pastel blue that I was aiming for? Yeah, I basically had to remix the dye that I mixed before to make it stronger because the colour just didn't stick. It wasn't dimension or anything like that. It was a clear, I have like a green, horrible yellowy orange root and then a pastely blue tip of my hair and it just looked awful it looked really bad i kind of strengthened it up a bit so it would kind of blend in all together and i think it looks pretty good like i'm happy with it it's not pastel blue but i think it's a nice shade of blue if i show you the roots of my hair though you'll probably find my dye job quite questionable but no that's basically how i dye my hair blue and maybe next time i might be able to achieve a pastely blue that i wanted to in the first place but i would always recommend if you're super precious about your hair to go to the hairdresser and get it done properly because you can really screw it up i'm not particularly asked about my hair like it doesn't really bother us that much which is why i bleach it and straighten it and just generally f it up continuously hopefully you did enjoy watching me dye my hair blue if you did give the video a thumbs up and let me know what your hair goals are down below in the comments and i'll see you on friday for a brand new video bye